Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about giving ferrets medications and how you do it. If you ever get medications given to you by your vet, then he should give you some very thorough instructions on how to give it to your ferrets or how to mix it or the amount that you're meant to give them. Also ask the vet or a vet nurse to perhaps give you a demonstration of how it's supposed to be done so that you might get a bit more of an understanding of why certain things are done a certain way and how they might do it because they might have a really clever method of doing it because they have a lot of experience with it. Depending on the medication, the vet should give you some tools to use to administer the medications to your ferret. So for example, if you are given some medications in a liquid form, then he should also give you a syringe without the needle on top, just so that you can put it in their mouth. Some ferrets are quite difficult to give medications to, so here are some little tips that I've picked up over the years that might help you out. For the purpose of this video, I've actually mixed up some water with Nutrigel and just put it into a syringe, which I got from the pharmacy. Um, and with this syringe, it's actually a little bit too thick and normally the syringes that the vets give you, give you more of a pointy bit and see how that's quite thick and it'd be hard, it's going to be hard to slot into their mouths. So they actually should be thinner, um, but your vet should give you one of those. Um, but that was the thinnest one that I could get from the pharmacy. So before you leave the surgery, make sure you ask for one if you're, uh, ferret is being given some oral medication to take in liquid form. So the first time you come home and you want to give your ferret the medication, you actually might be quite lucky. Some ferrets do enjoy the taste of the medication and um, are happy to just eat it straight out of the syringe. So this is what you might do. So give them a bit of a sn come here. So give your ferret a sniff of the medication. They're gonna love this because it's just Nutrigil in a syringe. Binksy normally hates being given medications. <sighs> Obviously you don't wanna be squirting it all over the place. Sorry. So you just wanna maybe have a practice first over um, the medication bottle so that it doesn't go squirting everywhere as to how much pressure you need to apply. So as you can see, Binksy loves, loves it so much she wants to eat the whole thing, but loves this Nutrigil mixed with water. I wish it was that easy for all medications. Aren't you a good girl? Mm, that's a treat for you, isn't it? Normally, she is horrible to give medications to, so when um, she had a bit of an infection, I think a, a couple of months ago, she was given some am amoxicillin, and she cannot stand the stuff. So we gave her a sniff of it to start with, and she turned her head away, so we had to resort to this next method. But if you're lucky enough for your ferrets to actually ha take it from the syringe, then you're really lucky because <laughs> they can be an absolute nightmare to give medications to. <laughs> now always make sure that you have the correct dose. And if you have a ferret that hates being given medications, then always wear long sleeve tops as well because you don't want to get scratched if they're trying to scramble out of your arms. For this next method, you're going to have to be the tough guy, um, in a sense, where you'll have to scruff them and be quite firm to get it over and done with as quickly as possible. Um, so what I like to do, and this is <laughs> just <laughs> going to work perfectly because she loves it already, um, is scruff the ferret, hold it up. And preferably, see I'm leaning back so her body weight isn't just hanging down, but preferably have the head right next to your chest so that she can only move her head one way. Otherwise they shake it all over the place and the medication goes every, everywhere apart from their mouths. And you just grab the syringe and put it in the side of their mouth. and just squeeze it in. 
So if you angle it down towards their throat, then gravity will help you out as well. And that's how you do it. Hey, that wasn't that bad. I've had that done before and it was yuck, but that's good. <laughs> Actually, this might be a good method of training them um, and getting them used to having a syringe put in the corner of their mouth. If you have something delicious like a bit of Neutrogel mixed with water in there first and do that a few times, maybe you might be able to get them by surprise when it's actually medicine in there. So um, that could be a method. Now if you have a really difficult ferret or any ferret for that matter, after you give them the medication it might be worth giving them a little dab of Neutrogel just so that they have a positive association with um, medication being given. And maybe after a few times they might realise, oh, that's kind of not too bad, you know, you get the bad and the good. You were so good today, Binksy. It's because you had delicious stuff in that tube. Not yucky, I'm not silly. For some ferrets, you may be given tablets and some things that people do for um, medications that come in tablet form are um, crushing up the tablets in a bit of duck soup or some other food or some people also have some applicators I think that you can get at the vets which you just kind of pop down the ferret's throat or pop into their mouth and just shut their mouths and hopefully they swallow it. So ask your vet about those ones. I personally haven't had any experience with giving tablets to ferrets. I can imagine that is a nightmare. So make sure that you ask your vet um, about that before you leave the surgery and hopefully they'll be able to give you a hand. You're hoping so. <laughs> With medications, don't, don't miss any of the doses. It's really important, especially with antibiotics as well. Um, so stay on top of that. For tomorrow's video, let's discuss how you can keep your ferret in peak health. What should you do? What can you do in order to keep them as healthy as possible? Let's discuss this on the Ferret World Facebook page, in the comments section below, and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, and subscribe to the Ferret World newsletter because it's really coming close now. I can't believe it's the end of the month now already. Um, so we're going to be launching the book soon very soon so make sure that you um, subscribe to the newsletter because everyone gets a free ebook who subscribes to the newsletter so you don't want to miss out we're gonna say goodbye and you puffed you smelly girl yes you're so smelly all right see you tomorrow <laughs>